good morning everyone today we will solve problem on sinking of support by slow deflection method here is the question diagram consists of two spans span ab and span bc in given problem support b sinks by 15 mm that is it moves downwards by 15 mm so delta is 15 mm so we will convert it into meter which is 0.015 mm er is also given that is 3900 kN meter square so our step number 1 is to determine degree of kinematic indeterminacy which we also call it as dk so we have to just count the number of roller support present in given beam there are two roller supports this in given the there are two roller supports so dk will be 2 that is theta b and theta c that is rotation at b and rotation at c are the unknowns which we have to find with the help of slope deflection method so we will move to our step number 2 that is fix end moments for span ab udm is present over the whole span formula for udm will be minus w l square by 12 so w is minus w is 20 l is 4 meter we have to put the values we will get minus 26.67 kN meter similarly for b the value will remain same with opposite sign again for bc there is udm having intensity 30 kN per meter and length is 6 meter Put the value of W and L, we will get minus 90 kilonewton meter. Similarly, the value of 90 will remain same for span CB with opposite sign. We will solve our step number three, that is slope deflection equation. Before solving that, we have to check the effect of delta. Span AB, in which support B. Sinks by 15 mm, so it goes down with respect to support A. So right hand support is in the downward direction as compared to left hand support. So three delta by L will remain negative. That is, it will produce anti-clockwise movement. But for span B C support. B goes down. That is, left hand support is in the downward direction as compared to right hand support. The effect of that is minus three delta by L will become positive. So we will solve our equations. M A B is equal to M F A B plus two E I upon L. In bracket two into theta a plus theta b minus three delta on l. Put the values. M F A B, which we have calculated in step number two, and is minus twenty six point six seven plus two e i upon l. Value of e i is given. A is nothing but length of span a b that is four meter. Theta a is zero because support a is fixed support. There is no rotation at support a. Theta b The unknown thing will remain as it is minus three delta upon l. Values of delta and l are given. So equation one will become minus twenty six point six seven plus one nine five zero into theta b minus twenty one point nine four. For span b a, m f b a plus two e r upon l plus two into theta a plus two into theta b minus three delta upon l. Put the values. We will get equation number two as twenty six point six seven plus three nine zero zero into theta b minus twenty nine twenty one point nine four.
as our equation number 2. For span BC, the equation will become MFBC plus 2 ER upon L in bracket 2 into theta B plus theta C plus 3 delta upon L. Put the values, we will get minus 90 plus 2600 into theta B plus 1300 into theta C plus 9.75 as equation number 3. Similarly, MF, we can calculate it for span CB, that is MF CB plus 2 EI upon L in bracket theta B plus 2 into theta C plus 3 delta upon L. After putting the values, we will get plus 90 plus 1300 into theta B plus 2600 into theta C plus 9.75 which is our equation number 4. In equation number 3 and 4, there is two unknown things, that is theta B and theta C. So equation number 1, equation number 2, equation number 3 and equation number 4 are our four slope deflection equations. Now moving on to our step number 4, that is equilibrium equations. There are two unknowns, so there will be two equilibrium equations. At joint B, equilibrium equation will be MBA plus MBC is equal to 0. That is, the addition of movement which starts from B is 0. So put the values of equation number 2 and equation number 3. We will get as 6500 into theta B plus 1300 into theta C minus 75.52 is equal to 0 which we denote it as equation number equation A. Similarly at joint C that is the addition of moment which starts from C is 0. Now we have only one equation that is one moment which starts from support C that is MCB is equal to 0. So put the value of equation number 4 in above equation, in this equation. We will get 90 plus 1300 into theta b plus 2600 theta c plus 9.75. So 1300 into theta b plus 2600 theta c plus 99.75 is equal to 0 which is our equation b. So two unknowns, two equations. By solving these two equations, we will get theta B as 0.02143 and theta C as minus 0.0490, which are our two unknown things. After getting values of theta B and theta C, we will solve our step number 5, that is final end moments. Put the values of theta B and theta C in all four equations which we have found out in equation in step number 3. So after putting we will get MAB as minus 6.88 kilonewton meter, MBA as plus 88.20 kilonewton meter, MCB is minus 88.20 kilonewton meter and MCB as 0. So, our last step is to draw superimposed BMD. AB, UDL, so it will become WL square by 8, that is 40 kN meter. For BC, again UDL, it will become WL square by 8, 135 kN meter. Now, we will draw the value, we will draw the moment in this BMD on. By keeping this figure in mind, we will draw minus 6.88 above the line, that is here, minus 6.88. For BA, it is plus, so plus is again above the line, that is plus 88.20. And for CD, it's 0. We will join this. This is our final superimposed PMD.
Thank you.